What else we got? We got uh, not Cast you. Aside your bits of technology and marvel at his miracles, outsider. No thanks. Is there anyone else? Got some random beds over here. Surprisingly, fairly clean water. Not super clean, but fairly. There's nowhere like this left in the world anymore, eh, outsider? Not that I know of, but uh, you know, there could be. It's not like I've researched the entire world or anything. You're a guest among us, and quite welcome, outsider. Sure, whatever, dude. Let's see, can I unlock this myself? I can indeed. Let's, uh, let's save just in case. I know it's not red, but, um, you never know. They could be jerks about it. Not quite. No. Up. A little closer here. Oh, damn it. A little too impatient. See here. Seemed a little closer. Not quite. God damn it. Harold damn it. Ah. These hard locks. They are a pain. There we go. Alright. Let's go speak to Harold, see what he has to say about um, what we uh, talked about to the people. I suppose we could technically uh, re-talk to a few of these people. Your guest ah, outside. Such as you, um, we've already Mit talked to you about what we needed to. There's no there to speak we to you go. Again. Now, what's your opinion of the mother and father? I've only known them for a very short time, but when I first arrived, they immediately took me in and treated me just like a son. There aren't many people in the world left like that. I suppose not. I gotta go. I trust we'll speak again, outsider. Maybe. Cast aside your bits of technology. All right, I think we have uh, we've talked to everyone. It's time to give uh, Harold a little bit of a hello and uh, see what he has to say about all this. What's up, Harry? Look, Herbert, he's back. I told you. <sighs> about those tree minders. <coughs> no, don't get me started on them. I'm liable to talk about them all day. It even drives poor old Bob crazy. Did you ever ask one of them to kill you? <coughs> they won't listen to me at all. If I tell them something simple, then it gets done. Otherwise, Birch spends a week looking for a hidden meaning. <laughs> Plus, <clears throat> he just pops in whenever he wants and starts chanting this nonsense. Sometimes I just sit there silently just to make him mad. <laughs> that was fun for a while. But even that's getting boring now. How do the tree miners normally handle outsiders? Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how they handle them. They make them drink this gunk that Poplar makes. Sometimes they just go nuts. 
start running around. And sometimes when they wake up and see me, they run for the hills. <laughs> I bet they do. I'll tell you. Outsiders are almost as entertaining as the tree minders. <laughs> Sounds like it. Which tree minder do you get along with the best? Actually, the kid is the nicest one of all. Use her name. She sneaks in here sometimes and just lets me talk about stuff I want to talk about. <sighs> yeah, she Bob seemed pretty nice. Bob really likes her, too, because she makes me happy. <laughs> well, that's good. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> okay. What's with all the names? Bob, Herbert, Harold. I don't get it. Okay. Okay, L let me talk real careful for the slow folks. You do that. I was once a man a long time ago named Harold. Yep. Something in me changed in a weird little tree started growing right out of my head. It kept getting bigger until I ended up stuck inside. When people would ask about it, I decided to name it Bob. You know, like a friend or something. Sometimes I call him Herbert instead of Bob because I get bored and I think it's funny. So, long story short, call me Harold. Yep. So you're mostly tree, right? Can't I just burn you down? Oh, no, 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 no. Fire would be too painful for me and poor old Bob. Ye keep that stuff away from us. The heart would be just fine, and I won't feel a thing. I got uh, some quick questions about those caves. Yeah, I'll leave it to good old Bob to get me stuck above some caves. Now. Um, my dang feet are cold. Gotta hate when that happens. How do I get into the caves? I think the best way for you to get down there would be to get the key from the one those loonies call Cypress. There's supposed to be some old gate or something back in the other grove. I already picked it. Is there anything to look out for down there? Sometimes I feel stuff tickling me, but I think that's just Bob getting back at me for all the times I call him Herbert! <laughs> Not so sure about that. I'd like to ask about something else. Okay. You don't actually seem that sad. Why do you want to die? I've been literally rooted to this spot, thanks to Bob for maybe 20 or 30 years. I can't even remember anymore. Can you imagine being stuck in one place for that long, not being able to eat, or to read, or to sleep, or anything. That would blow. In the meantime, I have these tree minders bothering me every day about yeah, things worse. I don't even care about. And I can't stand it anymore.
Yeah, I guess I understand what you mean. I knew you would. That's why I picked you when I saw you coming. Seeing me uh, approach Oasis is quite a feat for a living tree. Maybe I'm just losing my mind from all this boredom, but I swear if I try, I can see all around me. Like my eyes are in every leaf on every tree. I think it's making Bob kind of jealous. Because he was the first tree in my life. And uh, all that. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Kind of weird, but interesting. So, uh, how is it you're causing all of these things to grow around you? It's kind of embarrassing, really. Once a year, Bob decides he's gonna go ahead and and start growing these weird pods filled with tiny seeds. Well, all it takes is a good wind and the seeds just fly everywhere. I call them Herbert's seeds. <laughs> he hates that. <laughs> sure. Well, I gotta go. Oh, okay. I guess me and Bob will see you again soon. Or maybe just Bob will. I suppose I could technically burn him. But, um, that would be a very jerky thing to do. Plus then, Bob wouldn't be alive and these trees wouldn't continue to grow. That would be kind of crap. But uh, if you kill Harold, then I suppose Bob would still keep going. Anyways, we're going to get down into these caverns and see what's going on down here. We're going uh, to use a shotgun on whatever the hell happens to be down here. Turn on a light so we can see what's going on. Apparently we got some random radiation right there. Is that is that water? Yeah, that's water. It seems like, um, this water is actually cleaner than the surface. Holy. Hi there. Yeah. And, uh, something I need to do. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now we are ready to get going here. Is there anything over this way? But yeah, this water is kind of like cleaner than the surface water, which is odd because she was talking about the uh, the water down here carrying the quote-unquote sting of radiation. There are most certainly things coming. Holy crap, what was that? Whoa. Is there a robot down here? Whoa. Hello. Is that... I think that might be a Myrler King. That's what we got going here. Bring it on, Mr. King. There you are. This is a creepy bastard. Now he's a dead bastard. Well, that king didn't last very long. Alright, we are going to save real quick because um, I believe this uh, location requires lots of underwater exploration, which is um, not going to go so well for me if I, uh, if I accidentally drown. 
Don't want to do that. I'm going to try and stay above the water for now and uh, see if we can just explore up here. But at some points, I need to go down there and figure out what's going on. Is that some eggs or... No, that's just bones. These, however, are eggs. Alright. Let's see, can we head around over here? Nope, not really. Random sack. Well, that's kind of cool. Can I uh, get anything out of this other sack? Apparently not. That's about it for that sack. Alright. Let's uh, try swimming down here and see what's going on. So far, not much. There we go. That looks like the proper way to go. Right under these eggs. Hello. Another, uh... Is that a rad roach? Wow. Random rad roach. Okay. Well, I got something for you. Don't even care. Hello. Any other kings down here? No answer? Alright, that's fine. I'll figure it out for myself. Interesting rock formations down here. Uh, there might be another egg clutch somewhere right there, but uh, I'm not that uh, interested in trying to figure that one out. Looks like a lot of people who have come down here before and not fared very well. Alright. Sunken chambers. We got going down here. Some cans. Oh, hi there. How's it going, fish man? Pissed. Too bad he's also dead. You may think this is your lair, but uh, you're not going to last very long. Trust me. There is a lot of cans and stuff down here. Got anything cool down here? Oh, hi there. No, thank you. Not buying. There we go. Random book and some cigarettes, apparently. Got anything going down here? Ooh. Um, I don't want that. 